Good morning, everyone. This is Marsha from Made by Marsha Mom, and I'm probably going to be a little fidgety today because I'm recording from a rocker. <laughs> um, just want to say hi, everybody. I'm long overdue for a video, and so I don't forget Kim Nolan. I'm reading my um, computer. Kim Nolan from Kim's Crafty Corner with all K's. She won the giveaway from me. For anybody that purchased her, whatever, with Amber. Uh, ooh, ah, crochet. <coughs> she won the giveaway, so she needs to get a hold of me. Well, get a hold of Amber, get a hold of me. I need to know which which one you want. Um, and if I was an organized person, I would have had them over here to show colors. But, or, Kim, go back to the other video. And then let me know which one you want. Or email me or something. Made by Marsha Mom at gmail.com. Um, I'm sure we'll get it out to you. I haven't heard from Amber, <coughs> excuse me, but I haven't been on Facebook, and I swear, this is my second time recording, I didn't cough once in the last video, so, maybe it's too much coughing, so, oh, I'm gonna cross my legs, sit on my legs for a minute, anyway, so, I moved my room around, if you noticed, all this stuff was on this wall, and this stuff was in the corner, facing this way, and... I put my crafting mess on this whole wall. There's just desk, file cabinet, desk, and table. And, <clears throat> and I made a mess. And <laughs> it didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. But you know, when you're rearranging your room, and now I can't find hardly anything. <coughs> Let's get to what I'm working on. Whips and chains. Um, Working on this book. Um, pocket amigurumi. I'm working on the one that looks like Evie. This one. And this is what I have so far. And, um, don't laugh. There's his eyeballs, which is nothing like the eyeballs in there. But, see, um, felt. This is not really felt. This is because, like I said, I cleaned up my crafty room and I was shoving things. And I know my felt's here somewhere. I don't know where. So this is um um what you call it um fusible fleece. So the fusible part is on the back here, but I don't know. It's it's cute. There's little ears, and this is his his or her body. I've got to make the legs yet and the other ear. And there's a little collar. So I have to make that. Excuse me. So I got that going on. I did finish. I did finish Mr. Moo Cow. He's got his legs. I did sew them on. There's his little tail. Um, he's adorable. Whimsical stitches, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't have the book because I let my books out because... Somebody wants to pick out what they want me to make for their great-granddaughter, so they have all my books. Well, most of my books. And I hope, I hope I get them back because I can't remember how many I gave her. Then I made the low-calorie pumpkin pie, high in fiber. Adorable. I think I'm going to make a bunch of these. For, for, um, since my oven's not working, this could be that, you know, I'm going to put these all in the, in a, in a pie, in a pie pan. <laughs> Serving on Thanksgiving. Um, <coughs> so, anyways, that's about all the crocheting goodness, I think. I think. Oh, here I go. With the yawny yawns. I did start. I did shut. When I was cleaning up my space, I did find what well, looks like a mouse head. <laughs> and then I found, with it's got eyes in it. It's got a triangular face. I don't know what it is. I really don't. I don't remember. And then I found um, the beginnings of, you know, the long, um, the bookies. I started a sheep one. Now I don't even know where it is because, like I said, and this is Bear Bear. Hi, Bear Bear. Hi, Bear Bear. Um, anyway, I started the sheep, but, yeah. <laughs> Not motivated. They're, I don't know. It's got some funny stitches, so I'm probably going to tear it out. Anyway, so, and that's somewhere in here. I'm not sure where. Hi, Bear Bear. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, oh, hi, Bandit. Oh, 
Kiss, kiss. Oh, bear. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Look. Oh, okay. You're going to sit? Be good? All right. Besides Bear Bear. So if I look, he's obnoxious. He is. Uh, hi, Bear. Hi. Can you settle? Can you settle? Um, no, he can't settle. He's obnoxious. Anyway, so, <clears throat> Bear, knock it off. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I don't want to pause. I want to get this done because I have to go to work. But I might have to pause. <clears throat> Good boy. So, he's probably going to bump the camera. Bad angle for me. Ugh. Get off my legs. Alright, hang on. Alright. Apparently, I'm back. So, I talked about my whips and my finished items. Yarny goodness. And now, what shall I talk about next? I talked about that Kim need, um, is it Kim? Kimberly Nolan needs to get a hold of me. I had to put the dogs up. Drive me crazy. Um, acquisitions. No yarn. I don't think, no, no yarn. I did, I did purchase something after I paid my bills. So, I purchased a, um, die cutting machine. I know, I know you're all thinking, but Marcia, you had the maker. Why on earth would you want a die cutting machine? One, it's non-electric, and I don't have to be on video. I don't have to be on internet. Um, manual die cutters called Big Shot, and I would get it. It's over there. It's kind of heavy. Oh, I'll get it. Hold on one second. <clears throat> it looks dusty. It has a crank. It has a crank, and you move the. The dies through. The dies look like these. Well, one one type of die looks like these. There's also um um what you call it? <coughs> Excuse me, embossing folders, um and other kind of dies like the kind you may have remembered from school that the teachers had. They'll cut fabric, leather, all kinds of stuff. These are heavier duty dies than these. Anyways, long story short, I'm going to put this back. Hang on. <clears throat> long story short, I, you know, I do stamping up, and there's certain stamps that work with dyes. So, let's say I stamped out a butterfly in different colors. I could cut it out perfectly without having a, what they call fussy cutting, just like in quilting. So, there's um, dyes that I want for that. And, yes, I could do a lot of it on the Cricut. But what I'm finding now that I've had the Cricut for, I think I got it March of last year? February, March, April-ish. It took a long time to get here. Um, now that I've had it for a while, I've had to buy new mats. I need to buy new blades. I still pay $9.99 a month to have access to, for Cricut Access, to have access to cutting files you can you know get some free ones from online you can get you can buy some you're always your you know that kind of thing but basically with the Cricut maker you need it, it's electric so you need to be online you need to be um and nothing's worse than being online with your Cricut maker and making something and then your internet goes funny yeah not good not good at all so um I do love my maker don't get me wrong I love the maker I mean it, I love it. I love it. But now that I'm doing more paper crafting, I've already bought, I just bought this mat, this blue mat over here. I bought it maybe a month ago and it's already not holding its stick. Now, mind you, this is the first mat I bought outside of Cricut. I bought it at Walmart and I do know that sometimes Walmart doesn't get the best quality things. So they get like, I don't know, I heard, well, I heard, I shouldn't say I know this, but I think Walmart gets seconds, you know. I heard that about my, um, the sewing machine that I had, my serger. You know, it was $20 cheaper at Walmart, but it was had an le extra letter on the end, like an E or something, and it was not the same machine, and I saw reviews. But, anyways, I'm assuming maybe that's what's wrong with the, um, that's why my other mat lasted longer. I don't know. But the mat's already becoming unsticky, and when it becomes unsticky, oh, pardon my reach, 
And it does silly little things in your machine like jams and wrinkles this paper. Like I didn't wrinkle this paper. Even I mean, potentially I could have, but it got caught on the blade and it got caught and I was trying to use up my scraps, which ideally you can on a Cricut, but because the paper wasn't sticky enough, um, it tore this up. I was cutting this, it tore up. And it's just, it's not, <clears throat> it's nothing against Cricut. Um, but with use, everything eventually wears out. Now the mats are not incredibly expensive and the blades aren't incredibly expensive and there are ways to restick your mats and wash your mats and, and, but when you're doing intricate cuts, you need a good mat. You need a sticky mat and a good blade. And, um, so if it's not a cut that I can get in a die, then I will use my Cricut, but <clears throat> I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm not against Cricut. I love it. So don't get me wrong, but there's things that I want to do with the manual die cutter and I don't have to worry about being online or, you know, whatever. Plus, you know, that I'm in stamping up, there are dies that I want to buy. So like for lettering or cutting vinyl or anything, Cricut Maker is hands down the best. Um, if I want to do somebody's name, because I'm not going to buy a bunch of letters and, you know, run them through the diet. It's going to be that way on the maker. Maker's that way. Manual's that way. I got to get comfortable. Sorry. Ugh. So anyways, um, benefits to the maker. Multiple items. These are little reindeer. Aren't they cute? They look like they're flying. Um, it does multiple cuts. Plus, as you know, and I've talked about. It will draw for me. So this is kind of like what I want to do on the manual die cutter. I want to stamp an image and punch it out or cut it out. So the maker does that. But I do pay $9.99 a month to have access to that image. And I have not quite figured out. I'm not buying computer programs to program my own images. So, But on the other hand. A die cutting machine can make all these flowers just like my oh just like my cricket can or a punch can. I lost one. Um that's like six of one, half a dozen of another. It's all what you like. But so I got both. And the reason what tipped me over the edge on that, that was $179 originally for the big shot. Um this big shot came with these dies, came with this die. And it came with an embossing folder. It was on Amazon for $113 for months and months and months. And I put it in my car. And I'd say, oh, i got to pay my bills. I'd put it in my car. And I'd say, oh, i got to eat. And I put it in my car. And I, you know. So it was sitting in my cart for $113. With all the starter accessories. Lo and behold. I got an email. It said, something in your cart has changed price. So I was cleaning out my emails because I'm really horrible about that. I clicked on it and lo and behold, it was a die cutting machine. $79. I think it was $84 with uh, tax. Yeah, something like that. So it had to come home with me. <laughs> so I got that because... <coughs> <coughs> mm. Stampin' Up! has dies I want to buy in. They won't work on the cricket. You can't program them. I mean, I guess there's a way you can, but I no, no, I'm not. The, I'm not the one. So that's my new acquisition, which I got for a bargain. I mean, less than half price, hundred dollars off, basically. Um, so if you're looking for a die cutting machine, I could recommend a Big Shot, at least a starter kit. You can do butterflies and flowers and little cutout tags and stuff, and some circles and some hearts. I think hearts are in there. So it comes with that and it came with, and this cuts out a big butterfly and a heart and two hearts and some circles, which incidentally, the nice thing about this, it cuts fabric and that's how I cut, oh, the eyeballs here. I didn't have to like dirty up a mat because, um, those of you who don't have a cricket, if you put fabric, if you use the fabric mat. If you use felt on your fabric cutting mat and you use your rotary blade on your on your Cricut to make circles, which is a lot of work just to get two eyeballs, but um, the felt sticks to the mat, which further makes it dirty, you know, so it's, it's you know, a pain in the butt. 
this, just crank it through, get my couple of eyeballs, and I was done. So, it all has a purpose for crafting. And sorry, my back and my hips are killing me. Anyway, so, and I know that I promised, I'm looking over here. I promised a tutorial. It's coming. I've just been kind of lazy and my schedule's been changing and it's not, not overwhelming because I do get like two, three days off in a row. <laughs> but, um, I started, for those, I do have my tutorial getting ready. See, I have my little supply list. I have my little, um, templates. Can't remember if that's a good one. I think this is a good one. And then another template because I was playing with making it for ease of use. Now, my original box, for those who watched the one video that looked like this, this was cut on the Cricut. But not everybody has a Cricut. But I bet you most of us at least have a Surface and um, could probably even use... <coughs> A chopstick or a um, or a fat darning needle to score or if you had a scoreboard because what I what I did here I did not do these did not come off the Cricut these were using math in my head and what it made was it's a different size box remember I said I wanted to make a little thinner a little shorter so I did the math and Here's the new size. Like this one. This is um, a sample. This is not good. Hope you, hope things get better soon. So it's like a get well card. Very simple. My other prototype. This one says ouch. This time I added a googly eye to the little turtle. He says ouch. It says hope you're back on your feet real soon. There's some throat coat in there. My third sample, because mind you, I was building these while I was making the tutorial, and then I decided that my tutorial was horrible, so now I had to build another one. Um, this one says, this little piggy loves you. And, you know, they flip just like that. <clears throat> now, the only other thing you'll need is some kind of punch. Like, this is a tag punch, and I use the little tag punch to make the little indent here to make it easy to open but you could use a circle punch any kind of punch to make the window or you can make it without a window it really doesn't matter but i just thought the window made it special because you could see what the treat was so that that tutorial is coming i need my i lost the prototype for my little my little door i don't know where it is but yeah so i was working on it pardon me oh and that's got to be done. Oh, excuse me. I'm boring myself. I'm at 12 minutes. Okay, but then the only other thing I was working on is in this basket. Making, not uh, making, playing with my new stamps. And I don't think I talked about it. I did get embossing powder and an embossing gun. So see the shiny on the thank you here? I don't know. Can you see it? That's with embossing. So I made that thank you card. I made this one. That's got the little embossing gold. That's done with clear ink and then sprinkles. That one too. It says thank you. It's in gold. That. Oh, is that one? Yeah. No, is that two? No. And then this one. Oh, and then this is, this stamp does it both ways. I know, it looks like I'm comparing apples to oranges because one's blue and one's purple, but this one has the black outline around it and you color it in. It's a double stamp technique. This one, I didn't use the black outline. I just did it like Impressionist, like Monet. I don't know which one I like better. I like them both. And then I did that one. This one in a different color. I don't know if there is that color iris, but you know. And that one. And that one. And that one. And 
or that's just blank. So I made those because I got new stamps. I think I was talking about that. They were on sale. See, that's old stamp, old stamp. I got this stamp. This stamp. Oh, that one's open. And this stamp on a deep discounted sale. They had like a one day massive stamp sale. So this is the one I used. Um, this one <clears throat> does like impressionist art without the black outline. This one does like a beach scene. Um, and then that's the one I use for the cards. It has, you know, irises and whatever that is. And then that's a marigold. And then... This one just because I couldn't decide and I didn't want I had I had a certain budget that week and I didn't want to go over a certain amount. So this one I kind of threw in because it was like I think it only cost me like 10 bucks or something. I can't remember. But here's that one. And then for those who haven't seen the ones I used for the get well cards, the little card idea. This one is called Back on Your Feet. That's got the turtle, the sloth, and the giraffe. This one is called This Little Piggy. And this will do um, Thank You, Love You, and I, I, the, the Pig That Flies. Hello, Debbie. See the pig that flies? It's cute. It said she believed she could, so she did. Um, so that one, that one. And then Over the Moon. Did I show that one? Over the Moon. It's the cow. Um, you're utterly fantastic. Cow's it going. Dream big. So, my cutesy ones. All available at Stampin' Up. Um, oh. Shoot. See, so yeah, I cleaned my whole crafty space and now I'm lost. Um, I am going to put in a hostess code if you want to order anything. You don't have to. I'm not asking. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. If you're going to... Order Stampin' Up! products and you don't have a Stampin' Up! Um, demonstrator, then I'm your girl. Yes. Um, God, this is a bad angle for me. I don't know. Boop, boop, boop. Maybe it's the sunlight. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to put a, I'll put a hostess code below so you can order through there. Um, I had a hostess code. I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. I don't know. I, and I'm just discombobulated. So, if <laughs> if I remember, I'll put the hostess code and the link to my um, Stampin' Up! shop below. But I can tell you, it's um, I'm 99% sure. It's made by net, And that should get you to me on Stampin' Up! Or if you go to Stampin' Up! Um, it's leave the G off of stamping. Um, st A m p i n up dot com go in there search for a demonstrator look for florida which is me um you can put in the zip code three three five three eight and you should come up my name should come up as one of your choices um marcia i think i'm the only marcia that comes up under three three five three eight if you're searching for a demonstrator in an area um but last name's rutherford um so you can go there and just order that way if you want i mean you don't have to i'm just putting it out there in case you want to because it's cute um so but if you do the hostess code one ship it in, in you know you'll ship it to you and <clears throat> what i'll do at the end of the month like all the demonstrators do i guess is um everybody who orders 50 dollars or more will get a home handmade card by me and a special gift for fifty dollars more, um, or maybe I'll um, everybody who did I'll do a drawing and that they'll win the hostess gifts. Who knows? Um, anyways, um, now that I'm discombobulated on that. I think that's all I had to say. Like I said, Kim Nolan, get a hold of me or Amber. Let me know your address. So I get that out. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know. But I just want to say uh, thank you to all the new subbies. I don't know. Again, I gained a few, which is nice. I'm um, at 400 and something. 
I'll probably have a nice big 500 subby giveaway whenever I get there. I don't know. Thank God, this looks bad. I don't know. Oh. Anyway, so I'm about ready to chop it off because I want to get all the blonde off. Let's see. All the blonde's got to go. So now my hair will be really short, but I've decided that once I cut this off, I'm not coloring it anymore. Yeah. I'll just be, I'll just be the grandma. So you like my shirt. Only the greatest moms get promoted to... Uh-oh, I can't see it. Ugh. To grandma. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I had more to talk about, but because I discombobulated my room, I can't find anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, don't forget, you know, I did some shout-outs last, last time. Um... Bella's got a new video. Um, and who else did I want to shout out? There was some... Oh, Valerie. That reminds me. I wrote it down. Oh, Valerie. What did I write it down on? Valerie adds some... Um, shoot. Let me... Hang on. My computer... Oh, my gosh. Sign me out. Let me see if I can find it on... On my tablet. Come on, tablet. Come on, tablet. Oh, hang on. My tablet is behind you. And that's my... No, I don't want my video to play. I want to go... Oh, sorry. This is bad. Maybe I'll just hold you here for a minute. Um, I want to go... Hi. Oh, right up my nose. All right, there. there. There's my wall. Um... I'm going to go into my history. I just watched her last night. Oh, God, that's a bad angle. Oh, Triple chins and junk. Let's see. History. I think I'll put you down now. I think. Maybe. Um, Who was it? Who was it? Sometimes my videos play all night. Do, 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 do. There it is. Um, <clears throat> and I think I tried to shout her out a few weeks and I couldn't remember her name. Valerie's. Cuddly Cat Crochet. She's making a beautiful afghan. That's a, one of them picture graphic gans of her mom. Um, she's also make, the one making the Amaneko. And I'm pointing up there because my Amaneko cat's still missing his legs. But it's up there. Um, she just did a thing. Um, and I think she was trying to remember Ella's name. Um, for Christmas card exchange. I have I had this cute Christmas card idea. Um... I know that um, I just watched um, Happy Craft a Homemaker, um, Carrie Penny. Hi, Carrie. Um, Christmas card exchange. Valerie put on her last video, number 32. I'm only saying that because I'm looking at it. I don't want to put her email out. <laughs> you have to go watch her video to get her email. But she put her email out because she wants to do a Christmas card exchange with everybody. Um, I would like to do Christmas card exchange if you want to. Um... Um, I have a post office box, which is always linked in the bottom of my videos. Um, so if you want, if you want to get one, send me one. Um, or you could email me and give me your address. And I'll send you one. If you don't want to send me one, you want me to send you one. I don't care. Um, but I don't. If I don't have your address, I can't send you one. So um, she's putting that out there. I want to put it out there. Um, Ella's doing it too. Ella does it every year. Ella's got a P.O. box, too. I like Christmas cards. I like Happy Mail. But, um, yeah. Wanted to remember to do that. And, yeah, because my, uh, <laughs> my, my Christmas card idea. Yeah, from Florida. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, handmade, too. I'm, I'm doing handmade Christmas card. Mm -hmm. No store-bought. I do have store-bought ones, though. But I want to do the store. I want to do the handmade one. Because <laughs> I still have some from last year. And we got some at work that are adorable. Just adorable. Yarny goodness ones. Lambs or sheep and all that. But I said, no. I'm going to make my Christmas cards this year. I'm going to be I'm gonna be like Carrie Penny. Maybe I'll get my hair done and I'll look all cute like she does. <laughs> Probably not. All right. So, um, I think that's it. Hi, Pat. And, oh, Pat, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about your snow. I'm just... I think I got six or eight inches, and it's only November. That's so early for Michigan, isn't it? I don't know. And then February, you're going to have the freezy coldies. But Pat's coming here 
But I gotta tell you, Pat, my pool, it's only at 60 degrees. I do not swim at 60 degrees. And it's gotta be vacuum so we can cover it up. But yeah. It's uh yeah, it's not, it's not green. It needs to be vacuumed though. And uh I'm not going in it to vacuum it and unless they get me a pole that I can reach across the pool. Yeah, it's not gonna get vacuumed anytime soon. So, anyways, um yeah, I guess I'll let you go. Um, sorry that this video is like 24 minutes of boring, um, but yeah, Christmas cards, uh, Kim's mailing me, uh, Christmas card exchange, um, I don't know if Ella's gonna do, um, Ella did it last year, where we did a Christmas ornament exchange, I don't know if we're doing it this year, I don't know, Ella, any, any, <laughs> she's been real busy though, so anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I'm going to link below, but I do have to go to work today, so I don't know if they're going to be linked on time. I don't know. So, come back in a day. Make sure my, my links are there. And, um, in case I'm still an Amazon associate, I do, if I link something on Amazon and you do happen to purchase through my link, I may receive a small portion. I guess I forgot to say that a couple videos ago and I got an email. So, um, but I didn't know if I still was an associate. But, yeah. If you do, anyways, so have a great day and I will talk to you later. Today's um, Tuesday, November something. Um, and thank you veterans from yesterday, you know, all the time. But yesterday was Veterans Day, but I didn't get a video done. But anyways, have a great day. Bye.